So now in this video we're going to look at the push button switch on a breadboard. This is a common way in uh, basic electronics to control simple circuits. Push button switch. So most of them are normally open. All the ones I have are normally open. This is the schematic symbol for a normally push button switch. There's usually not a hovering finger. I added that just to illustrate uh, the electrical connection when you uh, push on the switch. But uh, in any case, breadboards they have uh, usually a couple rows here where there's uh, slots that are connected five across right there. And then you got the supply ones. Usually they run the entire length of the board. Maybe they'll go halfway and then there'll be a gap. Uh, I don't have any that are like that, but I've seen other ones that are like that. But in case those goes all the way, these connect five across. When you insert the push button switch, and we'll look at an actual uh, push button on the breadboard, then the uh, top two pins, the ones that I have, they really only fit properly if you insert them in the right way. So the uh, top two pins here that will fit uh, relatively nicely into the slots. They're a little bit bigger than pins, so the breadboard may push them out for a while, but sooner or later it'll get used to them. But in case, there's always a connection across the top two. There's always a connection across the bottom two. So now we have, uh, since we're taking up two of the slots, we have four free slots on that side and four free slots on that side that are all now connected. So there's eight connected and there's eight connected down here. They're separated top to bottom. So you can imagine that gap right there when they're normally open. When you close the switch, you make an electrical connection between those two points. Those two nodes now become one node. It's all uh, one area. So when you push the, the push button switch, those two areas connected. Now you got those four, those four, eight total, and the eight down there, they're all connected. So now you got 16 spots that are connected electrically. So now really quickly, we're gonna throw in a, a bonus topic that you'll come across as you study electronics. You'll hear about usually a switch being on either the high side or the low side of a circuit. So here we have a resistor protecting an LED and on the more positive voltage side, so that's considered the high side, a uh, positive side of the battery, negative side of the battery if you're using a uh, battery, you consider the positive side to be higher, a higher voltage. But in case we got the switch, then the protective resistor, the LED, this is the order that you generally see components, especially uh, switch base components. Now, we can uh, also put the switch on the low side, so we got the switch on ground. Electrically, it's the same. Current only conducts when the switch is closed and it doesn't conduct when the switch is open, whether it's on the high side or the low side. But uh, a lot of people may not like the way this looks because they're used to just uh, seeing this. There's also transistors that work as switches on the low side. So there's a number of reasons why you may see a switch on the low side. So be aware of that. The order does not matter electrically. We could put the LED down there, the switch in the middle, or put the LED before the resistor, and uh, it'll work the same. So now we finally come to the actual breadboard and push button switch. This is the bottom though. This particular one, you can see uh, little grooves there that uh, indicate how they are connected electrically. And uh, so that's a little bit nice, but for the most part, when it comes to these, they will not fit in that direction the wrong way, but they will fit in the direction the right way. Now I like to insert it so that uh, the middle of the switch is where the uh, supply has its natural gap right there. So the supply is made up of a bunch of uh, conductive uh, clips and each clip has five slots right there. But where one clip connects to another clip, there is uh, no spot to insert a component. So even though electrically it's connected all the way down, there's not a spot all the way down for uh, pins and components. So. In any case, I like to put the gap there where we have that natural gap there. It makes it easier to align things. Now, this is a good breadboard and it squeezes the wires and uh, pins really nicely. And so it will squeeze these enough to pop them out because they're a bit awkwardly shaped. But over time, the uh, slots that you insert the switch into will get used to them so it won't be as bad. So it's not popping these out anymore. 
and I think it still does every once in a while it'll surprise me but for the most part it fits pretty good so we're gonna put the switch on the high side positive jumper to the positive slide instead we could have took the uh, yellow one and inserted it down there if you really wanted to you could put uh, both down there for higher current handling capability than one but uh, for now I'm just gonna say that's all one electrical connection right there we talked about that before the LED will uh, put down here so Direction matters. Long lead the anode has to be more positive. Short lead the cathode uh, down one spot. Now, with the resistor, we can either put it there, and uh, we're done wiring this up now. And uh, once I get the resistor into uh, the spot completely, we got the LED lights up. When I close the switch, or you could put it over here. It doesn't matter, again, electrically. So whatever uh, fits best for the circuit that you're building. Now, let's put the switch on the low side. We can get rid of that jumper. We're going to take the LED, quickly put it up here. And the reason why is because the resistor makes a good jumper right there. So even if we we're on the low side, instead of a gray jumper, we could have had the LED and then the resistor. The LED, it's a bit more awkward to try to use. Also as a jumper, you got to bend the uh, pins out of shape. But uh, if you want to, that's fine. There we go. Whatever works for your circuit, what works best. Uh, do it that way. Don't try to impress people, but some people may complain they don't like the way it looks, but uh, that's their problem. As long as it works the way you want to, that is what is uh, most important. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting into the screen. If you can donate or uh, want to check out the other links, I got links down below. I would appreciate that. But otherwise, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.